Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and The Other, and today I'm going to be talking about the Heidi game, as football is rapidly approaching. I believe the Redskins have their preseason game against the Ravens this, this Thursday night, and we'll be discussing a game, an AF, matter of fact, an American football an AF, AFL game that took place November 17, 1968, called the Heidi game. The Raiders were hosting the New York Jets in this game, and the way the television network had the game scheduled for three hours, they most football AFL games at the time took about two and a half hours to play, and the you know the halftime show and everything by by uh, in, in three hours the games were over. Well, they had the, the showing of, of Heidi scheduled for seven o'clock. Well. With one minute left in the game, the Jets had a 32-29 lead, and at first they weren't going to weren't going to preempt the game, but they got calls. Their switchboards were, were getting filled with calls about you know what the scheduling was, and they finally decided to preempt, preempt the rest of the football game to put Heidi, Heidi on the air. So it's promptly at seven o'clock, they took the game off and put Heidi on. Well, what happened? What the, what people m missed was on the next play. Daryl and Monica threw a touchdown pass, and then ensuing kickoff, the Jets fumbled. Raiders scored again, and the final score is 43 to 32. The Raiders beat the Jets. A lot of Jets fans and family of the players were, were angry over that, and the um, president of ABC, apologized, Julian Goodman, apologized for what happened, they, and they decided they would never preempt a uh, an NFL game uh, again. Um, interestingly enough, when the, um, in the in the AFC Championship, the Jets beat the Raiders twenty-seven to twenty-three, and that's where the Jets ended up going to Super Bowl and beating the Colts. So that was Super Bowl three. So that was the Heidi game, kind of interesting part of history. And like, subscribe, share. Looking for a partner. As always, thanks for watching.